Hello, it's much your comic book readers and the kids out there. Mike from Comic Frontline here, and welcome to my comic review from Archie Comics. As you can see from the tile, I'll be reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 289, Genesis of the Hero, part 2. And this is a high flying variant cover. Just thought I'd get that because I thought the cover looked pretty cool. And so, without further ado, let's get into this comic book. So. We found out that Sonic and Tails are going after Dr. Eggman and Dr. Sni Snively, however you say his name. And that's what they are doing as their mission. And uh, as the uh, issue start off, seems that Tails has a little bit of a broken wing on his plane where he leaves this whole thing of the I can fix it. And then Sonic goes off on his own to the Eggman lair. By the way, artwork is classically drawn. Like, straight out of, like, from the video game. It actually reminded me of the video game some parts. So, as Sonic gets into the lair, Dr. Snively did that same trick with the, uh, blocking him off with the, uh, force field, where Sonic just takes everything out one by one, because he is the fastest hedgehog alive, or faster than the speed of sound, so to say. So, as he does that... He flees, and then Sonic catches up with him, with luckily Tails, who has come back, because we all know, when Tails says, I can fix it, he really can. So, um, he gets into contact with Dr. Eggman, like saying that, um, you know, I remember the mission to bring the Hedgehog right to the Death Egg, and since he's... On the pilot wing, it looks like that he's going to be going there to Dr. Eggman's lair. And so he does, but Sonic has a new encounter with a Super Buttnik, so what he says he calls it. And it looked like to be almost powerful than him, but with a little bit of uh, speed, he got it out. And with Dr. Eggman and Dr. Snively that was fleeing, he throws... Um, Dr. Snively to Sonic, but looks like Sonic's got a little bit much off his hands because even though he defeated Super Buttnik, well, let's see if he could beat Dr. Eggman's experiment of this gigantic thing right here. And that's to be continued. And while I was looking at this, I was saying this actually reminds me of something. And it says here. How does this Clash of Titans play out? Play it for yourself in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on your gaming platform of choice. Now, if I remember correctly, I actually played this game of the last level of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I believe, on the Xbox 360 with the uh, graphics that were, that was like a real thing, a real graphic-wise. So, when I looked at this, I was like saying, yeah, I remember how I had tried to beat it over 50, 60 tries. It was hard. <laughs> so, next time, the celebration continues with a trip to Lil Planet. So, we're going to find out what happens next time. So, before I show you the preview cover, here's a off-panel right here of Sonic pretending to be a cop with Dr. Eggman as a criminal. Instead of calling for backup, he calls for backup, but then he's like saying, he didn't say that it was going to be front up, where the cops meet him at the end of the tunnel. I thought that was funny. And here's the preview cover of the next issue of Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 290. Ten more issues will be until we get to 300. Of Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 290, Genesis of a Hero, part 3 of the regular and varying cover. And hoping that I chose the right cover, I hope I get the regular cover, because the varying cover with Sonic and Amy... Eh, I don't know. I probably did pick that cover, but I'm not too sure. We'll have to see when we get it next time, but... This was like really interesting of uh, seeing Sonic with the adventures. It really brings back the memories of when I played Sonic the Hedgehog in video games and stuff. But uh, great story right here. Ring I would say for this is 4 out of 5 stars. Classically drawn artwork. A awesome story. And definitely for some for people of any age to read. Whether it be adults, people my age, or kids especially. This is a comic book for you, and if not, then you won't read it. It's up to you guys, but I would definitely recommend this uh, for all of you guys to read. But with that, everybody, that's my comic review of Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 289, Genesis of a Hero, part 2. 
Before I go, do not forget to check out sources of ComicFrontline.com, ZoneForPodcast.com, and our YouTube game channel, Frontline Gaming Zone, the number one source for comic and game-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Click that subscribe button so we'll be in your subscription boxes and you won't miss out on any videos that we post daily. And as always, please, in the comment section, leave your thoughts about this uh, comic issue as I try to grab it. Likes, dislikes, questions, anything you agree or not agree on. Does it bring back video game memories for you? As well as the To Be Continued page if you played Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Anything else, let me know in the comments section. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. So I want your comic book readers and the kids out there. Michael Cobb Frank saying take care. And as always, do not forget to keep watching. Later, everybody.